Hey y'all, Organizing Hire, welcome or welcome back. I am still figuring out what the setup is in my new space uh, with the sun like coming in. So I think standing up is gonna be the best bet. But I wanted to do a video to talk about how I kind of walked through this process of uh, letting go of some things, projects and tasks and just things in general and how GTD helped me through that process. So. A couple of videos back, I shared my desk setup. I had this nice new desk that I just loved that desk. Um, it was a big white desk and had like a hutch and cabinets and all of that stuff. And uh, so I talked through how I had organized my desk and how I had that set up. And so a couple of months later, I ended up moving unexpectedly and I had to uh, figure out what to do with this desk. So initially I was thinking, you know, okay, it, I could totally make it work. I could totally make it fit in my new space. You know, I did my measurements. I could make it work. It'll be a little bit tight, but I can make it work. And I had the chance to kind of have time and space between when I made that initial decision of, yes, I'm totally gonna keep this desk. And when I had to actually decide if I was gonna get rid of the desk or not, it was about a month or so that went by. And over the course of time, um, I had the chance to revisit my new space a couple of times. And each time I revisited the space, I started to accept the reality of the situation, which was that I needed to downsize. The space I was coming from and the space that I was going to, I could have made it work, absolutely, but you know, going from 850 square feet to like 700 square feet, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's, it's a difference. And so to be able to um, accept the reality of what is, and that's so much a part of GTD. It's like, what is true right now? Here's what's true. I'm in an 800 square foot place. I'm gonna be moving to a 700 square foot place. I have a humongous desk that will take up a lot of space in my new place. So once I was able to accept that fact, then I was able to decide like what I wanted to do about that. And over time, what I realized was I actually valued having like space in my somewhat, you know, relatively smaller space now, 700 square feet. I valued the space that I would be gaining from just getting a new desk more than I valued keeping that desk. So it actually, over the course of about two or three weeks, I changed my mind and I decided, you know what? The desk could fit, I could totally make it fit, and I'm not going to take it with me. What I value is having space to be able to move around. Um, and I can, I can have a similar desk set up in just a new, a new way in my new space. So that's what I've done. It's a little bit different. I'm still kind of, you know, feeling my way into it, but it was a moment for me where GTD really helped to remind me to everything has to be rooted in, well, it doesn't have to be, but it helps when everything is rooted in reality, right? What is, what is true right now? Not what do I want to be true? What do I think is true? What is going to be true? It's what's actually true and as objectively as possible. Um, that really helped me to be honest with myself about if it made sense for me to move my desk or not move my desk. The other thing that helped me was um, looking at my areas of focus. Um, and some of the higher horizons too, like my values and my vision as well. And so much of that was connected to this idea of um, you know, self-care. And for me, part of self-care is having space. So I'm not a person, I'm not a minimalist, but I don't like a lot of like stuff, excess stuff um, that doesn't serve a function around me. So to have this huge desk that would really have been taking up most of like this space in the room, um, it would have actually taken away from an area in my life that I want to be maintained at a certain standard. So being able to remind myself to look back at that place and say, you know, what kind of energy am I gonna be bringing into my space if I bring this big desk? And is the value of this desk worth the cost of, you know, that sense of peace and order that I want and that, that energy that I wanna cultivate in my room, in my room. So I just wanted to share my experience with you all about how letting go of something, it, that could be a project, that could be a task, something, maybe it's a relationship, where I just had the chance, my cat's going crazy because she's following my watch shadow, my um, the reflection of my watch. Hopefully she doesn't knock this over. 
but having the, the chance to just really be honest and reflect about, um, you know, what my life was and what I wanted to do and um, to have that, that place to check in on something was really helpful for me. And GTD really pulled that together for me. So if that's letting go of projects because I realize, you know, or, or even tabling a project because yes, hey, this is important to me and yes, I want to get to this, but I've also really been neglecting this other area in my life. And so I'm going to, you know, renegotiate my commitment on this project so that I can bring this other project back, you know, up to, to the attention that it needs. And, you know, again, it's about appropriate attention. What's the thing that needs to have my attention? And sometimes that means the thing that I've committed to doing when I committed to doing it totally made sense at the time. That was totally the best use of my energy and attention. And now that other things have come up or the reality that reality thing that if reality has shifted and it's changed my perspective, then my then my relationship with that thing might not be the same based on new inputs. Right. Once I moved, once I looked at my new space, I was like, uh, yeah, I don't think this desk is going to work. Like, yeah, on paper, the dimensions, it's going to work. But like when I'm actually standing there, I don't think this desk is going to work. So having that reality, grounding yourself in reality and then from there saying, OK, can I you know, commit to this project and not take away from other things that I value. So another piece where this shows up for me is I really value that self-care and treating myself with dignity and respect. And so sometimes that means that I have to be honest when I am over committed to something and that my my attempts to renegotiate, especially in an external commitment, you know, the relationship what value does that relationship have to me versus the relationship that I have with myself? So if I'm renegotiating, hey, friend, sorry, I can't go out. I really need to take this weekend to rejuvenate and rest. You know, maybe next weekend we can go out. You know, I'll schedule you in for next weekend. So it gives me the chance to honor both aspects or all aspects of my life without having to pick and choose and say, you know, oh, I really said that I would, you know, do this thing for this person. And even though it's going to drain me in this one area, like I'm just totally going to do it because I have to do it. Anyways, that's my rant for the day. I hope that everybody has a good week. Thanks so much for watching.